It looks like we're already done with the porches out here. Yeah, so they put this up in a week and our guys were thrilled just to see the construction. They all had a smile on their face one day and we started talking about it in the team room and a couple guys kind of got a little choked up just thinking about it because um, it, it's literally a structure that they helped build or at least forced uh, the action right. uh, that was to build it. Um, so that's completed. It'll, it'll be dressed up a little bit when the season rolls around, but you're going to have a second deck that just adds to the aesthetics of the park, um, should create a cool fan base environment, uh, and if anything, a, a target for right-handed hitters or maybe even left-handed hitters if they're as strong as a guy like Todd Helton to hit one in the upper deck. <laughs> Get a lot of rowdies out there, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think if you're out there, you're here for the game and you're here for the party, yeah. um, but might as well make the game a party. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's something that our guys appreciated and when we were able to advance to Omaha last year, that's immediately where all the guys ran to was to kind of high five or yell at the folks that were out there. And now it's going to be doubled in size. So hopefully it's it's filled in capacity that way. That's going to be fun out there. That's where I sit when I come watch you guys on Saturdays. Well, if I get thrown out of another home game, rather than sit back there and, and be disgruntled, out. I might come out there with the Bobby <laughs> Valentine disguise. <laughs> what are you wanting to do over here? So here uh, we took out the picnic areas that were up against the fence so that the bleachers, um, which that, that's the structure we got to go with now is just kind of a temporary bleacher setup. I believe they will have chair backs, but they'll be right up on the field. Whereas last year it was pushed back and also we had COVID restrictions to how many people could be up there. So they're going to be right next to the dugout. They're going to be at field level, you know, right next to the action, right next to the visiting bullpen. So that'll be a fun seat and a valuable one for us. But eventually the goal is to expand the stadium so that it almost kind of mirrors this other side. Maybe put some suites or something up there. Is that, is that kind of in the work or, yeah. or is that what you want? Yeah, I, I think when you look at the existing structure, where do you put suites is the biggest question. And, and you're going to have to mess with this if you want to do suites. It's not going to be able to, to hold those with its current status. Um, so that's something we're in the works with, with uh, an engineering company called Populous. And they're going to have drawings to us as early as next week, but it's something we're just going to have to sort through. You know, do you want to take one step backwards and maybe um, demolish some, some things or take some things down so that you can build up? Or do we just want to build on our current existing structure? Just, just kind of fill it in and yeah. make it, you know, nice and tight and, and intimate. I'll take either. I think what we have for this upcoming season, it's a, it's a temporary solution that's going to be a great one. How many, how many more is this going to hold? Do you know? I don't know exact numbers. I know the porches, you know, you get 20 seats and oh, we've yeah. doubled the amount of porches. There's 11 additional porches. Um, so even I can do that math there. <laughs> but I don't know, you know, last year I believe there was 500 extra bleacher seats, but we couldn't even use them all. I think there'll be, uh, you know, some more there. Uh, Probably again, another 750 or 1,000 seats down this way. Yeah, and, and the other thing is there's going to be more area for the students. We want the students to feel like they got their own space. And the playground was a great spot. We, we may introduce a playground area somewhere else for kids because, you know, it was cool they were able to use that. But we're basically going to make that for the students up there. So that playground will disappear and there'll be extra, you know, or room for students up there. So capacity is being increased in a few different areas. And uh, I just hope our guys play hard enough on the field to uh, make sure those are filled. Any thoughts of doing anything out here? I know the street's right there. Yeah, there's a school that used to have just a poor man's deck right out in right center, almost the exact same spot. We have a gap there, uh, but there's even been conversations about moving one of the light poles, possibly moving the scoreboard. Do you make the scoreboard bigger? Um, I, I think within three, four, five years, there's going to be something going on behind this wall. Um, there's several different ideas, but there's going to be fans behind that wall at some point.